let's talk about Envision Studio. The other day there was a huge announcement that Envision are also going into the design tools. And I gotta say that when I first heard it, I got really, really excited. I'm not even sure why. I guess it's because I love Envision. I've been using them for a while now and I've always wondered one, why they didn't acquire Sketch and where they're going to go next because I felt like they're like a billion dollar company and how far you can go with only kind of handling the prototypes and the, the commenting and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited that this is where uh, the, the direction that they're heading to. Just a couple of days ago, I kind of called out in vision about the fact that they've promised motion uh, like two years ago and we haven't heard anything about this. And now I really understand why. And actually, when I think about this, adding motion only to Envision doesn't really make much sense. It's much uh, more logical to bring in the motion in the design tool itself. And that, I'm, I'm really, really excited to see how that works. So I've been reading a lot of comments on designer news and on Twitter, and I don't know why, but it seems like the, the design community has been pretty harsh or I don't know I felt like there was a lot of cynicism around you know that there is like too many design tools right now with sketch and, and figma and Adobe XD and I, that there is not enough uh, innovation and everybody is like, just like more or less the same but for me again I think that there was something broken right now with the fact that I had to use a lot of tools multiple tools and for example I would kind of design and sketch, then do animations either in, in Keynote or, or uh, something like Atomic or Framer, uh, and then have to present to my client and gather feedback on Envision. So there was lots of products, a lot of people I have to pay to, and that's why I actually thought that in the long term, maybe Adobe has a, the chance to win. Why? Because everybody's on the Creative Cloud and they're providing XD for free. In, Right now, I feel like Adobe XD maybe is not good enough or comparable with Sketch, but I felt like on the long run, when they'll develop it, it'll be just as good enough. Why would somebody want to pay for Sketch you know, extra when they have it for free on the Adobe Cloud? And now I think that what Envision are doing, they're also a big company. Everybody is already on a, an Envision subscription. So if they're going to add the studio into the part of their subscription plan, so that you feel like it's coming on with your, you know, something that you already pay for, so it's basically free. I feel like this is maybe have a really good chance to, you know, to beat Adobe on the long run. And basically, I think that's really interesting um, play that's happening here. And I'm really, really excited to see how that will play out. So overall, great move in vision. And I love that there's a lot of people trying to push our tool to the next level. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway, those are my thoughts around that. Heading out to lunch right now with my ex-boss from design agency. They want to talk about possible collaboration, so let's hear what they got to say. Great lunch with Sal. Uh, wanted my advice on help with one of his clients who's transforming from an Amazon business to having their business run on their own website and kind of brainstorming traffic acquisition strategies. So, love to help with that. Anyway, heading to another client and then we'll call this week off. All right, week is now over. Super great week. Great client presentation, customer interviews, a lot of strategic work on Prospero, kind of decided on the next version, so I'm really happy with the progress this week. Out just in time to pick up the kids from the kindergarten. So I will catch you guys next week. Have a great weekend.